Hey there and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for all new videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little bracelet. All you need is some kind of crafting string in two different colors. You will also need a safety pin to keep your bracelet in place while making it. And any kind of decorative bead with a hole in the center. You will also need a clasp so you can take your bracelet on and off. Also, you're going to need some scissors. The best way to measure your thread out is hold the one end in your hand and stretch another end in the other hand as far as your arms can reach. I didn't show it in the video because it's kind of hard to fit into a frame. Once your arms are fully extended with one line all the way across, you want to cut it off. That gives you about a meter long, depending on how long your arms are. So now you want to put the two ends together so you have a looped string, as you can see right here. Now you want to do the same thing with your second color. or taking the previous one that you just cut and pulling it to the length of that string. Cut it at the same length. Now you want to take both those ends and put them together, creating a loop at the other end. Now you want to tie a knot. You don't want to make your loop too big. Just enough for the clasp to clasp on. Then pull your knot tight. Now with the safety pin, stick it through the loop and connect it to your blanket or pillow. Sorry about my hands being so dry, but with this COVID going on right now, washing your hands and using sanitizer sure dries your hands out. Okay, back to the bracelet. So you wanna take your one color and keep it down the center, pulling the others to the side. So you want to start with the left string, pulling it over top of the center strings. Taking your right string, pulling it over top of your left string, and underneath the two center strings. And back up through the loop that you created on the left side. Pull it through. And then tighten. You don't want to tighten too much, just enough for it's snug. And you've created your first knot. Next, you want to take your right side, loop it over top of the two center strings, and take your left and loop it on top of your right string below your two middle strings and through the loop on the right side. Pull it snug. Repeat the first step again. And you want to keep doing this until you reach your desired length for your first bead. I'm going to speed up the video so you can watch the whole thing in shorter time. If you need to refer back, just go back to check out the steps again. Alright, we'll see you at the next stage. I just want to show you one thing. 
you can see it's a little bit looser so you can see the two center strings. If you want to see less of the two center strings, just tighten by moving up your thread. This will help tighten your bracelet so you don't have as many gaps, depending on style of bracelet you want to make. And then continue. So if you're not really quite sure where to stop or where halfway is on your wrist, just take your wrist and measure. You will see where you would like to place your first bead. Now you're going to be putting the bead on the two center strings. Now my original plan was to use three beads, but because I didn't check the whole size, we're just going to be putting one on. So here I'm going to show you how to put the bead on. If your hole's too small and you're having trouble getting your bead on, here's a trick. Because remember, we have to slide both strings through this hole. Using your handy scotch tape, take a piece of scotch tape. Take one of your strings and wrap it around, giving it a tight wrap. You want to try to make a point at the end of the tape. So just keep twisting until you have a pointy end. So once you have a long enough pointy end, you want to cut it on an angle, giving it a sharper point. This will help guide your string through the small hole. You can get enough tape through for either to pull it through yourself, or if you're having trouble, grab some needle nose pliers and pull it through. So here we got the bead on one string. The challenge is to get the second string through the same hole. Again, it all depends on the size of thread you're using and how big the hole is on the bead. You may not have this problem. But now that we have the bead on the strings, you wanna pull it all the way up to your bracelet. So I was originally going to use three beads on this bracelet, but I'm just going to use one. You want to make sure that your bead is snug against your bracelet threads. And continue with the same pattern of knotting through that I showed you in the beginning of this video. and continue till the desired length of your bracelet to fit your wrist. Now when you're at the end of your bracelet and you're ready to knot it off, just make sure this is how you like it, either tight or loose. Measure it around your wrist to make sure it'll fit. And then tie a knot into it. Here my strings are a little bit shorter than I needed. That's why having a little bit more string is always better. Pull your knot tight. Now on this first knot, you could have put your clasp, but that would have made this bracelet too small for me. So we're going to do it in between the second knot. Okay. So here's the clasp, just want to poke one of your strings through the hole. Again if you're having trouble getting it through the hole, do the tape trick. 
You only need it on one string, unless the hole is bigger and you want to put it on two. Now again, checking the size of your wrist to make sure it's going to be long enough to hook it into the loop that we first created in the beginning of the bracelet. And that's where I want to tie my knot. I just have barely enough string. and then you want to pull your knot really tight. So on this bracelet, I gave it a little bit of movement. And once your knot is tight enough, trim off the ends. Just not right at the knot, just a little bit from the knot. and then just kind of mess up the ends to make it fuzzy. You can also use a lighter to seal the ends if you like. I didn't in this video. And then attach your pin from your pillow or blanket. And there you go, you made yourself a bracelet. If you'd like to see more bracelet making videos, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell to be notified for all new videos. So here is how the clasp loops through the loops to hook onto your wrist. Here's the bracelet we just made. The second one below it is one I made before out of hemp string. I find when you use hemp string it actually loosens over time and that's why it's a little more baggy on my wrist. So I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to check out all my other bracelet making videos. I will link them below once I have them up for you to find them easier. You can also check out my playlists to see all other videos. I really like how this bracelet turned out. Stay tuned for all new videos. Thanks for watching.